here's a really quick, uh, really simple, I guess you could say shortcut or uh, feature inside of Dreamweaver that I believe showed up in Dreamweaver CS 5.5 and later. If you have a page open and you deal with CSS, there are going to be times where, let's say you select some text or some content, it doesn't really matter, that has CSS applied to it. And what you'd like to do is you'd like to maybe try different things or turn things off, etc. If you go over to the right in the CSS styles panel, you'll see that we have properties for and then whatever you've selected. And usually that means that that's a style name H1. You'll see all the different properties available. So what we can do, and let me do this. I'm going to just put my cursor out there so I can see it, is we can disable these properties just by clicking on to the left of the property name there. Let me go out and say, hey, let's try this. Let's try that. Let's see what it looks like without this, et cetera, and see what we get. The great thing about doing this is you can always just turn it back on and off. And what it's actually doing is actually pretty darn smart. If I right-click here and choose Go to Code, or you can Control-click on Mac, it'll go to the CSS code. It's actually putting in this little comment tag. And this little thing called Disabled is for Dreamweaver. So no, hey, we're just going to disable this thing temporarily. This is what a lot of us would do if we went into the code and did it ourselves, minus the disabled thing. All right, if I go back to design and put my cursor in there, we can always turn this stuff back on and off just by clicking to the left over there and the little slash thing disappears. But you can also do this. You can also right click and choose enable all or disable all or delete all disabled. That one's kind of sneaky. If I choose enable all, it'll just turn them all back on. That way you don't have to go to each one to turn it back on and off. Now, why would you use this? Well, I actually use this as a testing mechanism sometimes. I'm, sometimes I, I realize, oh, I have a style earlier that does that, and I don't need, let's say, for instance, the font weight. So you can turn that off, okay, and check it out. You can then go in and either delete that property if you want to, or right-click and choose Delete All Disabled in Selected Rule. And it'll delete whichever ones were commented out or disabled. So there we go. It, it's kind of a simple tip, I admit. And some of you are probably like, duh, but... I love being able to use things like that. So hopefully that, that helped.